Governor Walker and Mayor Barrett are meeting for the second time in a rematch of sorts of the 2010 governor's race when Walker beat Barrett 52 to 46 percent. The mayor, my opponent, talked about this all throughout the primary, that he wants to go back and completely restore collective bargaining. That means we're going to have that battle all over again. In fact, in the primary at some of the forums, he said he was going to get in the ring and fight and fight and fight. And if somebody didn't uh, go his way, it's my way or the highway. It's my way or the highway. He was going to target them and take them out. It's easy to punish your, your enemies. Members of the legislature went on his side. He'd target them and take them out. I make myself look big by making someone else look small. That doesn't sound like somebody who's ready to move on and move this state forward. Uh, our question is, what would you do... Uh, to bring unity back to the state of Wisconsin. What can you do? Scott Walker started this political civil war. Going back and rehashing the same debate we had last year as my opponent wants to do is not the way to move forward. I want to make myself look good politically. What I've done is stand up and take on the powerful special interests. That's why they poured money in since last year. That's why they brought money and bodies into the state of Wisconsin because I did something that had been done before. I stood up and took on the powerful special interests at both the state and the local level, who in the past had dictated to taxpayers what they were going to do. Instead, I put the power back in the hands of the taxpayers, and every day I'm going to be fighting to do that here in the state of Wisconsin. This is all part of this ideological civil war. He wants this state to be the prototype for the Tea Party nationally. That's why he's such a rock star. That concludes this evening's debate.